from revenge and danger to new protagonists and even some shocking revelations. Here are the things that will surprise everyone in the fifth installment of The Handmaid's Tale. Warning! Spoilers for The Handmaid's Tale follow. Fred Waterford will be there. It's been a long time since we saw June doing what she thought was necessary in order for her to feel peace, at least for a moment. The wait is finally over, and it was totally worth it. The fourth installment of the series had finally shown some progress, like June's escape to Canada, Aunt Lydia's being unable to cope with the system, Serena Joy's pregnancy, and perhaps the biggest plot twist in the entire show, June Killing Fred, a finale that changed the course of the series and June's life. So as you already know, Fred Waterford, one of the most despised villains in the series, now, no, let me rephrase that. The most despised villain in the series is dead. Gone. The fourth installment finally freed June, and she returned home. She came back to her husband, Luke, and her daughter. Luke tried to convince his wife not to do anything in order for her and her family to be safe. But the protagonist was unable to let things go. I mean, how could she? She's been through hell and she couldn't just let Fred go without paying for the things he's done to her. The finale was satisfying, pleasing, and quite enjoyable, to be honest. Fred was killed by the right people, in the right place, and in the best way. With the help of several handmaids, June chased down Fred in the woods, and they killed him with their bare hands. Isn't this how they were taught? Yes, it is. But what now? Where is June going? What will happen to her daughter? What will happen with Serena? So many questions, so many theories, and just one season. The first thing you need to know is that Fred will still appear in the next installment. You have nothing to worry about though, because he's most definitely dead. But the showrunner, Bruce Miller, confirmed that the character will appear through flashbacks. These flashbacks will apparently show his life with Serena prior to the creation of Gilead, meaning that we might see them as a normal couple after all. Now, we've previously mentioned that June killed Fred in a really satisfying way. She never wanted to do this the quiet way. She wanted people to know that it was her. And now, Fred's body hangs on the wall, a warning to Gilead's commanders. It's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. <laughs> now, you should also expect to see a war between June and Serena. Well guys, it happened. Hulu has finally released a synopsis and a release date for the upcoming installment. In the recent pictures, we see Serena Joy Waterford in mourning garb. She's staring at what seems to be her late husband, Fred Waterford. One thing that shouldn't surprise you is the fact that these two women are about to get into a pretty awful war. After all, June has sent Fred's finger to his wife in a package. And if history has taught us anything, it's that Serena hates losing. Hulu has also released a synopsis for the new season. Quote, June faces consequences for killing Commander Waterford while struggling to redefine her identity and purpose, it reads. The widowed Serena attempts to raise her profile in Toronto as Gilead's influence creeps into Canada. Commander Lawrence works with Aunt Lydia as she tries to reform Gilead and rise in power. June, Luke, and Moira fight Gilead from a distance as they continue their mission to save and reunite with Hannah. One of the most surprising things is that Alexis Bledel decided to leave the series. She hasn't revealed the reason for her departure yet, but most reports claim that she left because she wanted to focus on other projects. The show will return on September 14th with two episodes. And now, because of the events that happened in the finale of the fourth installment, Nicole will be in danger. Now that June did what she did, 
her closest ones are in danger, especially Nicole. There are even some theories suggesting that June's best friend, Moira, will take Nicole away from her mother in order to keep her safe. Another theory suggests that Serena will lose her child. Clearly, Serena and Fred's child will majorly influence the events in the upcoming installment, but a lot of fans hope to see Serena losing her baby. This doesn't mean that her baby will die, but it means that her baby will be taken away from her. Now, can we finally meet Nick's wife? Nick is married? And we don't even know the name of his wife? Who the hell is he married to? Is there a possibility that they have a handmaid? So many questions. Now, we previously mentioned that we know one thing for sure. Gilead is angry. Try and be happy. You might be surprised by Gilead's reaction to June's actions. Now, we're not saying that they deeply cared about Fred Waterford. What they cared about was for women not to show any kind of power. And now, Fred's body hangs on a wall, above a message written in Latin, so when Gilead investigates who did this, they'll come to a short list. Someone who hates Fred, and someone who wanted him dead. And the list will consist of one person, June. It's that simple. And hopefully, the protagonist is aware of the consequences of her actions, so she'll try to do something before these people come to her. Honestly, we expect to see the wildest installment so far. Do you guys think the show features a repetitive plot? Let us know before we get into details about Esther being the new protagonist. A lot of fans believe that Esther is the new June, and they have every reason to believe this. Quote, It's like June pulled the pin out of that poor girl and left, Miller explained in an interview with Variety, adding that it's time for you to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Just like Miller said, quote, She's amazingly volatile and dangerous, so June's legacy is living on in Gilead in a big way. We're going to definitely follow her through next season in Gilead with Janine and Lawrence and Lydia. There's a dynamic going on that June is very interested in, having left those people behind. See you in the next video!